One day, the animals in the forest plan to have a race. Now, let's see what happens. One, two, three, start! Yippee! I won! I won! Next time, I win! I win! But where is Lola? There she comes! Hey, Lola! I won! Quack, quack! Wow! Congratulations! Hello, friends! Y'all are having fun! Hi, Pooh! I won the race! I stood first, Timmy stood second, and Lola stood third. And if I would be behind Lola, I would have come fourth. But, quack quack, but you never give prizes more than three prizes. Okay, let's go to our maths teacher and find out. Okay friends, come on. So dear children, whenever you want to explain position of people, things and objects, you can use ordinal numbers. Now, you already are aware about what cardinal numbers that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They tell us about counting and how many. But ordinal numbers tell us about the position words. You can easily express number names through it. Now, you have first. So, you just have to take the last two letters that is ST and put to your cardinal number 1 and it becomes first. Second, for the same thing for the second, you have to take ND and just put this last two letter of ND and it becomes second. For third, the number name is THIRD. So the last two letters again RD, you will take it and put it to number three and it becomes third. Now, already students, you are aware with the spelling of four. F-O-U-R. To the spelling of four, you just need to add T-H and it becomes fourth. For fifth, for fifth, you have your F-I-F. The last two letters are T-H and you put it to your numbers, number five, and it becomes fifth. Now, the spelling of 6 is very simple. S-I-X and you just need to put a T-H to it and it becomes 6. For number 7, again, you know the spelling is 7. S-E-V-E-N. Just add a T-H and it becomes 7. For number 8, you just need to put an H and it becomes Eight. For number nine, all the students make a common mistake. You wrote, you write the spelling N I N E, but here in ordinal numbers you need to cut an E and add a th and it becomes nine. For number ten, it is very simple. The spelling of 10, add th to it and it becomes 10. So dear children, we have learnt about ordinal numbers. Done. Now, since you have learnt about ordinal numbers, let's do a quick recap on it. All of you all remove one sheet and your pencil and eraser. Keep it ready. 
please make 10 squares like this. Now, after making this, follow the questions which I am going to read. Put a plus sign in the fifth box. Draw a square in the eighth box. Write the first letter of your name in the first box. Make a smiley face in the sixth box. Draw a triangle in the seventh box. Draw a circle in the second box. Put a star in the third box. Make a tick in the ninth box. Make a dash in the fourth box. And put a rectangle in the tenth box. So, I hope students, you had fun learning ordinal numbers. Now, please practice it every day. Thank you.